And good evening, you're listening to the Modern Mystic Radio Show on A1R Psychic Radio, the world's number one psychic radio network, and Moonstruck TV. Um, I hope you're looking forward to um, a fun-filled week of spiritual shows coming up. Um, And today, what I want to talk about is really the energy of 2017 so far and what we can look forward to and ways of using that positive energy that's coming in as well. Okay, so with 2017, um, what I found here, you know, it is a number one year. And for many, many people, it's all been about those new beginnings. You know, last year was all about things closing off. And for some people, you know, they've been experiencing that um, sort of closing off and things falling away from their lives, um, you know, over, over the course of this year as well. And what I've also noticed here is that, um, you know, that the, the change point for a lot of people um, has actually been, you know, around the, their birth month. You know, so if you were born in March, you know, around March time, you would actually move into this far more positive one year. And this is where you start to find your uh, new beginnings coming in. Um, You know, I myself have have, have moved home, have actually completely remodelled absolutely everything in my life. Um, I have new love as well. So everything's all changed um, for myself. And I've also noticed that with other people, too. Um, So if that's something you can relate to, then, you know, if you're still yet to have your, your 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 birthday we're still waiting for those new beginnings to actually come into your life you know we've still got a little bit of time yet left and i have noticed it's also been filling um uh, you're filtering into next year as well so 2018 still is carrying through that whole theme of um, new beginnings um so what i also wanted to talk to you today about is um our next new moon which is this Thursday, I believe. You need to check your your time zones, um, you know, for the exact time of that new moon. And it's a new moon in Libra, which is all about relationships, um, balance, harmony, um, also justice as well. So if there's perhaps a situation where you're feeling, you know, you you are being sort of treated as, as, you know, as the victim, um, or you feel there is some injustice in your life, now is a great time to actually work with that, you know, using that new moon energy. And how do you do that? You know, how do you actually work with the, the new moon or the full moon? Well, the colours for Libra, um, generally I would go for a blue. Um, you can use black as well, but I, I tend to go for blue. Um, and simply put, you know, what you do is just spend a few minutes during that new moon time period. And, you know, that it doesn't have to be the exact time. It can be 24 hours afterwards, you know, just around about the new moon um, time. And what you do is you would light that candle and you put your intentions um, towards that candle, towards that light. Um, and the way in which I do it is I use these little um, beeswax candles and um, which are r- rolled up. And what I do is actually um, write down my intentions and place them within the candle, seal it back up and then, and, and then light it and do it that way. Um, or you can you can etch them on the candle. It's another way of doing it. Or it's just simply, you know, spend a few few minutes meditating on your intentions. Uh, like I said, you know, Libra is um, a very harmonious sign um, and this would be a great one um, for you to be looking at attracting that soulmate. Um, or twin flame energy, um, which is, you know, for this year has been incredibly, incredibly powerful. I've seen so many people drifting in and attracting their soulmate and twin flame energy um, into their lives. Um, So this will be, if you haven't experienced that yet, you know, there is still time. Why not work with this um, new moon that's coming up on Thursday? Um, It should be a really powerful one. Um, I always find, you know, because I'm ultra sensitive to um, lunar cycles, maybe that's something you can relate to as well. Um, That actually, you know, I notice I notice the energy difference, particularly when we've got a powerful one. And I have been noticing that um, over the last couple of days. Okay, so I'm going to be going straight on to my first caller. And this is Stephanie in Sherman, Texas. Hi, Stephanie. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Just looking for some clarity. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to shuffle the cards for you. Is there anything in particular you would like me to look at for you to tonight? Um, I would uh, like to know about my love life. Right, okay, let's have a look and see what I get for you. I'm just going to give the cards a nice shuffle, and then I'm going to deal them out for you. Okay, let's just see what I get for you. Let's pull out some cards. Okay. Right, so let me just bear with, let me just tune into the cards here for you. Um... See, I get timing around this um, in terms of your love life. Um, there, I feel like there is something, somebody specific in your life at the moment. Is that right? Uh, there is a guy that I'm interested in, yes. Yeah. Um, now, I, I feel with, I just feel with them, um, I feel like they, I, I want to say there is a mutual attraction there is a mutual interest um, between the two of you. It's also, a fant I feel like a really fantastic connection already within this uh, potential relationship. Um, but I feel with, with, with him, I'm looking, they, they've got some sort of problem in terms of um, their past relationships and their, I wanna say their emotional availability right at this moment. Um, now, I'm being drawn towards, um, you know, I want to say the latter part of this month and the beginning of next month, where I feel like there is going to be um, more of a change around this um, this particular relationship. Um, so are you waiting for them to kind of step forward towards you? I keep on getting heart, uh, like almost like a, a block in the heart here with this. Um, and I feel like this is on his side. So are you waiting for him to come forward to you? Yes, because um, I actually met him on a dating website and we have not met in person, but I already feel a strong connection to him. Yeah. But uh, I feel like I'm showing more interest than he is, so I'm waiting for him to take a couple of steps towards me. Yeah, I mean, I feel that he will, but I'm being shown here, you know, it's, it's almost like I kind of get you joining forces. Um it, it needs to be at a specific time. And that time frame is not, I, I'm seeing it as being, you know, within the next sort of four weeks here. So it's not a huge length of time to wait. But that I do feel that, you know, even though I feel like, yes, you have got this connection. I am getting a soul connection coming in with it. You know, the, the information that's kind of given to me by my guides is that you too, you know, have the ability to heal each other from past situations and past hurts and learn to have you know a very deep loving connection you know between yourselves which like i said there is a two-way thing here you know they are very much drawn towards you so even though you feel at the moment they're not necessarily um how can i put it um speeding ahead you know, I feel like they need to take it a little bit slower because there's something here about their past that I feel <laughs> needs to actually be worked through. Okay. Yeah. There's an element of, like I said, it's almost like emotional availability, you know, may not necessarily this particular point in time be, um, be, be, they may not be ready for it. Does that make sense? However, I do feel like within a very short period of time, you know, they are going to actually jump forwards here. I'm just gonna pull um, a couple more cards out for you. And let's okay. just see what I get with this. Um, okay. So you have had the connection here with, with him, but I also feel like, it, do they tend to go quite quiet sometimes? Because I feel that it's like there is a little bit of an emotional lack as well that you're feeling. Yeah, because I, I'm afraid to text him too much and for him to lose interest too fast. So I don't yeah. know whether I'm texting too much or not too often. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't feel... Um, 
Let's see, again, you've got the soulmate energy with this. Um, I want to say keep keep it consistent. Um, I don't feel like you're doing too little or too much at the moment. Um, you know, keep it consistent there. Um, I feel like things will pick up, though, between the two of you. And I have got him um, arranging to meet you. Oh, so like I said, I've to arrange to meet him this weekend. You've arranged to meet him this weekend? Yeah, I haven't brought it up to him yet, though, but I plan oh. to. Oh, okay. Um, let's just see what I get around around that. Let me just move these out of the way, and let's just see what I get in terms of meeting up. I feel like it's going to happen, you know? Right. I feel like it is going to happen. So him coming to you, is that right? Um, I would actually uh, be going towards him, but I don't know mm. if he would come to me to meet me or if we'd meet somewhere in the middle. All right. Um, I feel I feel like I've got him coming more towards you, actually. Um, that, that's the energy that I'm getting here with this. Um, so... If you are prepared to travel, I don't see you traveling as far as perhaps he would need to. Um, but I feel that I have got you meeting up and I feel that, you know, there's, um, uh, you know, this, this this feels like a little bit of, um, I feel like he's, he's in a bit of a difficult situation or he's just come out of a difficult situation. So there's a lot that I feel kind of needs to be discussed that hasn't been brought brought up um, well, I know just we're yet. Both, uh, I know we're both single parents, and mm -hmm. uh, he's also a career firefighter. So. Yeah. Um, I, what I, what, what I want to say here with him is that, you know, I want to say his story, um, I, I feel, is quite, um, is quite a tough one, you know, when, when, we're, when we're looking at his past. Um, so there is the element of cautiousness with him. Um, that how can I, what I'm being told here is that you know it cre it requires you know a great deal of sensitivity on your part. Okay, so there is um, I, I feel you know really quite a deep history here with him and a deep story here with him um, that I feel like you you know maybe even face to face he, he will open up and, and and discuss these things with you. Um, but it's just something to consider that I, I just feel like it will make sense as to why he's been a little bit sort of maybe standoffish or not as forward as as you would like to, to see. But I feel that there's something here about, um, you know, this is like the first time that he's felt um, such a strong connection towards somebody um, for a long time. You know, that's okay. what I kind of get here with this. Um, so there is the element of cautiousness. And I feel like I'm also being told that in in some ways you are um, kind of playing the same game. I feel like he's reluctant to be over keen or, show, you know, put you off. Does that make sense? So yeah. I feel like you're a little bit in the same boat. Um, but I, I feel here that, you know, we've got a blossoming romance coming in you know, between the two of you. Um, and I, I don't feel here that you're going to be let down, but please be aware that, you know, I think he has been through a very, very tough time in the past. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to ask, or are you happy with that? Um, also, uh, I uh, had court for my SSI, and I was wondering... If I was going to get a yes answer with that, and if I was starting my uh, payments soon. Okay. Right. So let's have a look quickly with that. Okay. Um. So I mean, I am getting a yes with that one. Um. Again, I'm being drawn towards. Um, I just don't feel like this is a particularly quick process, you know. Okay. Um, so what I'm being told here with this is, um, yes, it's coming to you, 
I feel like I've got the end of October here with that um, being finalised. Um, so I, I, how can I put it? The wheels are in motion. That's what I'm being told. The wheels are in motion. And I feel like that news is actually coming to you. I don't see that it's going to be an issue with it for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You take care. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go straight on to my next caller, and this is Anne from from Toronto in Canada. Hi, Anne, are you there? Oh, hi, Sarah. Yes, I'm here. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. That's right, great. so what would you like me to look at for you tonight? Um, well, I had planned to move uh, to another province, and I had an accident this year that resulted in a lawsuit, and it seems to be kind of holding me up from that move. So I'm just wondering if you see that move coming up anytime soon. Right, let's have a look and see what I get for you on this one. Thank you. Okay. It's there. Um... It's, it's 100% there. Um, okay, right. So um, let, me, let me just concentrate on um, the energy around this. So the time in which you move, what I'm being told here is um, it's vitally important that you, you move at the correct time for you to have the maximum amount of um, positivity from this move because I feel look, looking at this I'm being shown here a complete and utter transformation taking place um, you know within your life this is feeling like um, you know a completely new beginning for you and a fresh start for you really where you can wipe the slate clean altogether um, and start all over again um, and I feel like what I'm being told here is that it will deliver what you want it to deliver and, and more okay they're saying and more so I feel okay let's have a look at this so we've got this um, what's being reflected here with the cards is um, the the legal element the court element the court case yes. thing um, so that's come up sort of like straight away here for you um, I anticipate um, at the very latest um, I anticipate at the very latest December with it excellent <laughs> you know so it's 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 I, I just feel like it it will be closed it needs to be closed off this year I feel heading away okay. um, so I, I feel like it's been dragging out already for for, for way too long um, yes. But I, f I feel that, you know, there is an element here of um, almost like hurriedness with this. Um, once you kind of get the go ahead um, and then all of a sudden everything really starts to happen and manifest for you incredibly quickly. Um, have okay. you actually found your new home? Yes. Uh, no, no. I, uh, I it, the lawsuit's kind of been holding me back from that, and uh, uh, so I, I actually am planning a trip there to to look for my new place. Okay, um, and, and that's coming um, up. That's coming up soon, is it? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see what I get because I have got it here. I've got the right house for you. Um, what I'm also being shown here is um, I, I feel here that, in, how can I put it, intuitively you will know which one. I feel like I've got you easily directed and guided to the right property. So it's not going to be as confusing as you, as you might think here. Oh, that's great. Um, <laughs> I was worried yeah, about that. Well, it's relatively straightforward. So what I'm being shown here with this is that, you know, there, that we've got a handful of properties that I feel like I've got you looking at. OK, nice. um, but there's only going to be one <laughs> that I feel is going to 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 um, to meet all your requirements. OK, and that's, okay. that, you know, it's not a case of 
is difficulty in terms of choosing the right place. There's only going to be one that is right for you. Okay, so it's going to be very, very clear cut. Okay, that and when I say easy. right. When I say right for you, you know, in terms of, you know, not just what you would like to see and have within that property, mm -hmm. um, but also, you know, the whole timing element here would, would fit. Okay. Right. Um, there's something here about um, by the time you go, there will be new, some sort of news on the legal front as well. So I feel like I've got you going with more information in your, in, in, in your mind to, to, to work with. Okay. Um, what I'm being shown here is, um, I, I want to say here, I don't know whether you're, you're anxious about the court case itself, um, but I, I feel like I have got a favourable outcome for you with that one. Great. You know, so this really is just a matter of, of going through the process. That's what I'm being told here. Going through okay. the process, but you... What I'm being told here is this is something that you really do need to do. I don't know whether that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, there's something that you really do need to do. Um, there's, an, there's another element of importance here with it rather than perhaps financial. Um, but I feel here this is very important that you get this done. Okay, so let's just see. I'm going to pull, pull out a few more cards here. Um, amazing. Okay, so everything here is talking about December here for you and you being very much in your own element. Um, I feel here it's almost like um, the, the whole energy of this year for you has been um, really um, quite traumatic. Does that make sense? Uh, I'm sorry, melodramatic? Um, the energy of this year, the, you know, the, your experiences of this year um, are coming across as, as being, have, have been very, very traumatic this year, have been very oh, difficult. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Very much. Um, and what I'm being shown with this is that it's like I've kind of, somebody's got hold of your life. <laughs> basically yeah. and and and, yeah. and shaking it like this you know with with real with with real um you know um vigor here and, and lots of things have fallen away here and it's kind of left you feeling um i, I want to say very not very unsteady for one but also um how can i put it it's almost like you feel like what what else have i got to lose do you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. like, it's like yeah. bringing you back right back down to the bare bones of, of your life and and so you have to almost like reconstruct it um you know right from the from the ground upwards okay but this new version of not only your life but you that's coming in over the next few months is going to be incredibly um I want to say fortuitous, um, incredibly positive. You will have your lucky day. That's what I'm being told. <laughs> and it's not too far yeah. away at all. I've got you changing direction and beginning to feel um, as though you're connected with your life again. Okay. Wow, um, but but the only difference here this time round is that it's it's these these are all your choices, okay? Right. Um, it's a life based on your choices, your decisions, and your desires, okay? Stepping in, um, and that's going to be the most empowering experience that you've had in your life so far. That's what I feel here. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. And so, okay. best of luck, um, and I hope you, I, I hope you have a fabulous time with that. Well, well, thank you very much. Uh, you have no idea how uh, accurate you really are. Wow. Oh, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. All right, Sarah. Thanks uh, very much. You take care. Thank you. All right. All the best. Bye bye now. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so off she goes, and I can't believe it. Believe it. That's another show.
done. So um, we're almost finished. Now, if you like the sound of that and you would like to get um, involved and you would like a reading from me, you can do. The website is www.modern-mystic.co.uk. You can also find me on um, Facebook. I'm under Mystic Sarah and also Modern Mystic. So please take a peek, like the page. Um, and within that, within my Facebook page, I also do um, regular um, free readings as well, um, live live sessions. So if you want to get involved with that, please do. I would love to see you. So I'm going to wish you a very good evening. Enjoy um, the rest of the shows that are coming up. Um, enjoy this lovely Libra new moon as well. And I'll see you the same time next week.